This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the markets were mostly flat or unchanged with the Dow down one-tenth of one percent, the S&P 500 off by three-tenths of one percent, while the NASDAQ gained six-tenths of one percent. Markets took a wait-and-see approach this week with bond rates rising thanks to stronger-than-expected inflation data and hawkish central bank rhetoric. Some people, and by some people I mean past and current Federal Reserve governors, just don't know when to hold their tongue. Inflation is in particular focus because price growth, at its highest in decades, is what pushed the Fed to ramp up interest rates over the past year in the first place, pressing the brakes on the economy while aiming for a soft landing, which in English means controlling inflation without causing recession. Now, while the trend in the economic data has shown inflation trending downward, recent blips have suggested that red-hot prices may prove more sticky and a bit tricky to bring down to acceptable levels. On Thursday, the producer price index revealed the fastest acceleration of producer-level inflation on a monthly basis since last summer. Also unnerving the financial markets this week was initial unemployment gains, which were up to 1,000 uh, for 194,000 for the week. On Tuesday, January's NFIB survey of small business owners showed that 45% have job openings. News alert, the labor market remains tight. And labor demand, in my experience, does not equate with an economy headed to recession. As Ed Yardeni of Yardeni Research said this week, even though Fed officials have been trying to squelch investor optimism, they continue to believe personally in their disinflationary soft landing forecast. Perversely, the financial markets vote of confidence in the Fed's ability to subdue inflation without getting the economy into trouble represents a threat to those very efforts in Fed officials' eyes, loosening financial conditions as the Fed tightens them. A close look at the data relevant to financial conditions reveals them as tight, but in a good way, tight enough to bring inflation down without a recession and not tight enough to provoke a credit crunch that results in a recession. If your perception is, this sounds like a Goldilocks environment. It's because it is. Not too hot, not too cool, just right. And perception, folks, is what makes bull markets run. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.